Adam's aunt gifted us the baby Nutribullet. It has been amazing. I used it for the first time in a pair this morning. Oh, and it pure rave, let me tell you. It comes with the cutest little pieces. I'm gonna show you some breastfeeding. I'll come back and I'll show you a little unboxing or whatever that's called. This is not an ad, this is not sponsored. This was gifted to me. You could see that blender right back there with the blue top and the white bottom. So I'm showing you today using the baby bullet because that's what I have and I do genuinely love it. If you want it, I will link the one that I use in the description box below. But I want you to know that's absolutely not necessary. You can do what I show you using a blender you already have and all the accessories you might have or you can get them for really affordably at the dollar store. I got some before I got the bullet and they work perfectly fine. Actually, I'm using them as much as I use the other ones. do a bunch of different vegetables or fruit at the same time. So this day I was doing avocado, sweet potato, and zucchini. I just roasted the sweet potato, threw it in the blender, added formula, and blend. Keep blending until you reach the consistency that you need. So blend, add formula, blend, add formula, or breast milk, or whatever you desire. Watch it, stir it, see that it's nice and creamy. There's nothing the baby will choke on in there. That's a lot. So I'm going to freeze it in ice cube trays that I got at the dollar store. Just fill each little cube until the tray is full. I use all organic for the baby and I do not like to waste a bit of it. So I'll add a little bit of extra water into the blender, blend up what's left over, throw it in there. Then that all goes in the freezer. And the way that I save money as well is I'll buy big organic frozen bags of vegetables. I got peas, I got broccoli, also some fruit. I got some blueberries. There's my breast milk from a very limited stash. But I got some blueberries and other stuff. You wait until it's frozen, you take it out, bring it to your countertop or your table or a workspace, wherever you're gonna pop out that frozen food. Then I take a Ziploc bag, I'm gonna label it with the food that's in there, exactly everything that's in there. So if I added formula, if I added breast milk, sometimes I'll add prune juice if the baby's stomach is hurt and the date. And then you're just gonna pop each of the frozen vegetables or fruit or whatever's in there out of that tray. It might take a little bit of elbow grease, you might have to for it to defrost just a little bit in times where I'm in a rush I will run it under a little bit of warm water throw all of those frozen cubes in your Ziploc bag and you're going to store those in the freezer I do have to come up with a system because I have this tiny little freezer in my rented space I'm gonna get something to store and organize these when it's time for the baby to eat or to use them you just pop them out of the freezer you can leave them on the counter or in the fridge to defrost if you have time if you need them faster you can just put them under a double boiler you can pop them in the microwave if you use the microwave you do get the baby bullet accessories these right here on the bottom are what you're going to use like the ice cube trays you just throw the food in there and you freeze it and then these on top are just baby food jars so you'll see how I store my food in there and baby eats right out of there and that's how we make our baby food so if you guys have any questions I filmed that video months ago totally forgot I had that footage my sister actually asked me to make that video and share it with her and I was like I bet you so many people can learn from this so I just wanted to make it quick and short and sweet to the point. Since then, I have increased my freezer stash. I don't know if you can see it, but we moved up. We have blueberries in here, avocado. I have egg, oatmeal, chia seeds. He loves chia seeds. Believe it or not, I'm not even in this video. Oh, what else do we have? We tried yellow squash, asparagus, broccoli, lentil. I have chicken, free range, organic, no hormone added chicken. The possibilities are endless and you could start, you're so happy. You could start to get really creative and add spices and all kinds of fun stuff. If you guys want a more in-depth video where I'm actually in it, not doing a voiceover, we could do that, whatever you want. Let me know in the comments below. You are so interested in me and this hat. <laughs> I threw it on my head because I had messy hair editing a video. I'm trying to use uh, different kinds of oils like Jamaican black castor oil and argan oil to regrow my hair after postpartum hair loss. So this is what we're working with today. We're a mess. All right, you guys, if you want more videos like this, subscribe. Let me know in the comments below. Subscribe for this cute face. 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 Like for this cute face. Can you do a thumbs up? Thumbs up. I don't even need to be in the video. It's all about you. We love you guys so much. We'll stop being crazy and we will see you in the next one. Bye. Can you say bye? Bye. <laughs> bye. Bye. Do bye bye.
Mwah. Bye. Mwah.